All right, here we go, guys, and we're at the Atlantic City, the 2022 Atlantic City Boat Show, and yes, a non-Florida boat show, finally, first time in three years that I ventured to a boat show in my home waters, I'm from New York, we're obviously in New Jersey, and the fact that we're in the Northeast gave me really two opportunities with respect to these boat show comparisons. Number one, pilot houses, a lot of you have said, when are you going to look at a pilot house, when are you going to look at a pilot house? And we actually had two really pilot house brands. You can't see I'm doing air quotes, but I'm doing air quotes. One is Parker. They've been around forever. North Carolina built. Um, actually just sold to a private equity company. So no longer family owned, but the lineage is there. And then North Coast, a longtime builder in Bristol, Rhode Island. They were there. I looked at three of their pilot houses, three of the Parker pilot houses, Tried to do a little comparison. I'm, we, I'm, we're we we going to do this as I did it at the boat show. I saw the Parkers first. We're going to show those first. And then we're going to have the North Coast, which is not as well-known a brand. But folks in New England have certainly heard of them, um, have a great reputation. So does Parker. And you tell me what you think. There are subtle differences between each of these uh, two brands. Uh, the, the big one for me is the step into the cabin. Um into the helm area, I mean, where you where you pilot the boat. I don't know if anybody really cares about that. I had a Makecraft, which had that, that flat deck where you could just go straight from the helm out to the uh, fishing area, to the back of the boat, without having to deal with steps. I prefer that, but it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, it really comes down to preference and price, and it, it's interesting. That's the second observation. The prices in the Northeast are much cheaper than the Florida boat prices. Um, I thought the Parkers were actually very aggressively priced. They're 28 I believe was $200. we will see it through the video, um, which to me is an insane price for that much boat. The North Coast were a drop more expensive, but I, I think they were finished a little nicer. Um, but let me know what you think. I'm not going to come back at the end of the video. Six boats, all pilot houses, all in the Northeast. Um, and I'm releasing this video on a cold, snowy, wintry day in March here in the Northeast. And that's what pilot houses are made for. I, I wanted to wait for a day where the weather was really crappy to kind of fit that pilot house mode. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you do like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. All right, people have asked about pilot houses. We got three in a row here. And we got a 21, 23, and a 28, all by Parker. A 20, 21, 13,000 in discounts, 87 grand. Um, not a bad price, 21 degrees of dead rise, 21 feet, 816, 200 gallons. Uh, 200 uh, horsepower is max, this one's 150, 90 gallons of fuel. Let's jump on. We'll jump on this one next, it's the 23. And there's a uh, integrated boarding ladder there, that's nice. And yeah, I mean, this, this, is, uh, this is what you get a pilot house for. 21 feet, 87 grand, and you are for those of us in the Northeast, you are fully enclosed. Uh, the windows do open. You can see the side windows too. My Maycraft had that too. The front windows didn't open on my Maycraft, but they do on this. Uh, you got a nice big bench seat here. You can easily fit two people, three in a pinch. Storage underneath, that's nice. Little area for storage. Or two guys can take a nap here. One guy easily. There's uh, room for a porta potty under there. Hard to see. Um, but yeah, you're going out in the spring or in the fall for talk. Four guys in here, no problem, out of the elements. Um, there is a step up. I may crap is a flat deck, but it is what it is. Little little transom here. There's a live well under here. Storage under here. Oh, that's the batteries. One battery there. Presume the other one is under there. Let's sit down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six rod holders on top, and they're easily reachable. I'm not on my tippy toes or anything. Two big horns, that's interesting. Probably hear this boat coming from a mile away. Um, but when you look at the 23, and this is the SL, so this is not the deep model. 
this one. Hello. It has a massive fishing area. Massive. Flip up seat there. Big flip up there. Can I have you help us? Yes. <laughs> Live well. It's a big area for fishing on the 23. Yeah, this is a lot of a lot of space here. Basically the same interior as that 21. Digital steering on this one. This one I believe has a Yamaha F300. Again, the windows that open, get, get some air through here. Little berth area again, side opening windows, cup holder, little storage bin down there. Storage on each side here, plain old tackle trays. Storage under here again. I'm presuming this is the switches, yep. Yeah, right there. And water connection there. Cup and rod holders here. Let's see what the price is on this one. Let me step off. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good, thank you. This one has a it's not a bad price. 118. A lot of boat for this. 29,000 in discounts here. Again, that's I'm seeing Florida did not offer discounts. Looks like the northern shows do. Uh, MSRP is 151, so you're you're doing well. Now here's the the big boy. Time for Twenty-eight. Hey Jack. Twenty-eight. One ninety-nine. Thirty-seven thousand discounts. Big boat. Twenty-eight feet. Nine six beam. Twenty-one degrees. Two hundred thirty-two gallons. Yeah. This. Is a uh, flip up seating. Bill Jackson is here, not crazy about that, but again, quibble. Big kill box finished. Cleat, pop up cleat, cup holders, rod holders. Six rod holders on top. You have the second station here, which is nice. You have a little step area if you want to walk around to the bow. Easily step up and around. It's a shot at show. It's a big show. And yeah, I mean, somebody could fish up here. I wouldn't want to, but you could. You do have a really big uh, rail here. It goes, goes above my knees port access there, your windlass up here, access to your road there, dual windshield wipers, this boat is a beast, a beast. No, it's the 20. This is the 28. You gotta get out here. Oh, it's the 28. 28, 20. And if you got a charter and you gotta come outside to help, you could be right here. We're at North Coast, 21 foot pilot house, starting at 78, as shown here with electronics, minimalist, Garmin, VHF, stereo, and trailer, 88,850. So a little more expensive than that Parker, but, but comes with the trailer. I don't think that Parker did. Um, and this is a northeast built boat. Let's see if we we get the dead rise numbers. Not not that aggressive. Let's take our shoes off. Let's 
So you're getting a full 21 feet here that that Parker was, there's a few differences. That Parker, the 21 feet went out to the Euro transom. This one goes out to here. So this boat's gonna be a little bigger. Got, looks like about a 22 maybe down on Ardwell. Some big storage here. Yep, big killer box here. Not on any type of hinge, would have been nice. Not crazy about that Bill Jackson's, but got some other type of storage here. No clue how this opens, but there is a step up to get around. The other big difference, this has no step. So you're walking straight in to the berth area. You got one, two, three, four rod holders. A little bit of storage under here, same on this side, two seats, there's your battery switch, your Garmin 12 inch, this is obviously a, a display. Uh, windows open on this too, like on that Parker. Big uh, berth area here, it does come with a windlass, has a little hatch up here. If you want, to, if you want some ventilation in the cabin, digital steering should have paid attention to the motor it's a 175 yamaha the other the parker was a 150. so yeah that the key i think is going to be the dead rise the the parker was uh 21 degrees we'll see what this one is but this feels bigger than 21. it really does and it's a simple simple boat spraying clean big dance floor trailer included under 100k, hard to beat. So this is the 315 North Coast Pilot House, 60 mile an hour top speed, 34.8, 17.42 mile per gallon. I hate sounding dubious, but I'm dubious in that claim. 35 feet, 10-2 beam, 23 degrees of dead rise. Um, if we can. What's the MSRP on this one? This is the MSRP on this is uh, a little under four. Okay. For this particular. Right, right, right. Which makes sense. That's this is a lot of boat. I open up the hatches. I, I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> and again, a bracketed boat. Big bracket. You can service both engines back here. Nice, easy step in. Flip up rear bench seat. That going to see that these three people a couple big fish boxes on either side finished very nicely side entry door too that's nice got a live well on this side you got a second live well on this side interesting the tuna door there imagine a lot of guys use this for tuna your your step up here to get to the front of the boat if you needed it Little sink area here. You got storage on either side of the sink. A lot of storage here. A couple drawers down there. Plano boxes here. Your battery switch is right here. That's easy to get to. More storage here. A grill here. Oh, that's nice. It folds down. You could then use it. Rig your tackle. Two benches, so you could put four guys on this side. You got a little fridge here too. That's nice. This is really nice. Flip up bolster seats here. A wood grained helm here for your electronics, digital steering. Got uh, switches and fuse. On that side, you got uh, wet sounds. Stereo here, windless control here, bow thruster here, trim tabs here. It's a really big berth. You have a microwave here, you have more storage there. And of course, it's a pilot house, so you're completely enclosed. It does have two ports up here. Windows that open up, side windows that open up too. Let's step down in here. This slides out, so if you want to completely close this area, you can. Big berth, more storage, 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 storage under here, and a separate head with a sink, a mirror, and a little porthole. This is really nice. I get it's 400K about, 
but this is really nice and I can I'm six feet tall and I'm not bent over right now I have about an inch of headroom with the cap on really really nice Oh, can I miss this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rod holders, and six more on top. You won't run out of rod storage room. It's beautiful. So we're still at North Coast. Here's their 25. Uh, so it is bracketed, so they're saying overall length is 31. $12.99 a month out the door package. As seen at the show, $226,800 including electronics, packages and upgrades, windless captain seats, folding chairs, uh, one 12 inch screen, twin Yamaha 200s, trailer and bottom paint not included. So without the trailer, and this is a sign I'm getting old, $226,800 without the trailer. Let's jump on. That's the four cylinder Yamaha's. Again, I'm not knocking Parker here. We've got a big live well here. This is probably a yep, little bait prep area on a tension hinge. Flip up seat here. This I'm hoping is bilge axis because that's, yeah, it is. Look at that. Beautiful bilge axis. Big 2000 gallon an hour bilge pump fish box on that side we'll open this side big fish box here too 226 again seating for four-ish here but what i love about these boats is your ability to just walk through just walk through you don't have to deal uh with stepping down and it's just a personal preference not if everything else was equal, I'd rather have that. Really nice berth area. A ton of storage. Step down here. I'd say about 5'10 a headroom. Storage galore. Big drawer. Really deep drawer. So an unfinished area for storage. Not finished. More storage in here, not finished. Zooming, yeah, there's storage under here. Hard to see. I don't want to take the cushion off, but there is storage under here. Porthole up there. I like this. Oh hey, yeah. Oh my god, it's right. Finished head area and it's closed off. Now, what do you think? Will dad buy this boat for me? Mm -hmm. Can we ask him for a total stranger? No, probably not. Probably not, huh? It's a 12-inch display, wet sound stereo, with Yamaha Diagnostics, twin digital throttles here. Okay, she's looking out the downstairs. Windshield wipers, again, these open forward, these open to the side. Storage on this side. 226, not, not exactly that cheap. This is a 25, but it, it feels bigger than a 25 again because it's bracketed. Uh, just a huge dance floor. What's in here? I didn't look, look at this before. Ah, your batteries. Okay. And this is your fuel tank. This is actually really cool how you have access to the fuel tank right here. That's awesome. So as Fender goes, if anything goes bad, easy access. Man, yeah. Again, a brand you don't hear a lot about, North Coast, but in my opinion, they they hit it out of the park with hey, these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I see why you like it. Yeah. With these uh, pilot house boats, <laughs> love them. Built in Bristol, Rhode Island.